Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Well today I want to do an unboxing of the Turnigy Reactor. As you can see it's a 300 watt 20 amp charger and uh, as far as I know in my uh, research this is an exact copy of a iCharger 206B uh, which is made by Junc or eye chargers are very popular in the RC community. Uh, they are a full real-time charging station where you can actually hook up to your laptop or computer and monitor via your laptop. So that's pretty handy. It's a pretty awesome feature, I think. Um, they don't talk much about it in the in any of the manuals or any of that kind of thing because it's a different company software. I'm fairly certain. Uh, this is a total clone of that other charger. Um, the other actual iCharger 206B runs for what $130. This guy runs for $59.99. At least that's what I paid for it. And that's 20 amps of charging power. So for me, this can allow me to charge my packs in you know 10-15 minutes. And not only that, it discharges at 20 amps. Uh, it's also got some features, uh, regenerative discharge, allows you to dump right back into the battery pack of the charging car, say, if you use your car to charge. Um, and also you can hook up resistance in line, which will allow you to charge or discharge even faster, upwards of 500 watts, which I read in the fine print there. So let's open this up and do a quick unboxing here. I'll also do a second part two to this first video. So keep an eye out for that in the next couple days where I will actually go through and um, install the software and try and hook up the charging suite and I will do a demo and show you all that as well. So let's get into it here. It's a pretty small charger to be honest with you. Yeah, that's kind of the reason I picked this up. It does come with a manual so it does explain uh, all the features and such which is pretty handy. Uh, when it comes to the charging suite and stuff, though, or like the software, there's nothing. It doesn't even say a word about it. But if there wasn't any, why does it have a USB port on the side of it, right? So, here it is. Um, basically, comes with a nice set of alligator clips, which I like. Which uh, have the bullets, you can plug right in the back there, so... That's good for hooking up to your car battery or charging in the field. easier if I just did that. So there we go, took the bag off. So here's the charger itself. Comes with a nice long cable on it with bullets to plug into your power supply. This is a DC only charger so it does require a power supply. All said and done I picked up a 400 watt adjustable voltage uh, so it's 0 to 24 adjustable volt power supply for about $35. So all said and done you're about 95 bucks in for a charger that can really carry its weight to be honest. So what else does it come with here? This is actually something I made for myself so that's not included. Uh, but it actually does include, this is a temperature sensor which plugs into the temperature sensor port right there and it allows you to strap that to the pack if anything starts to go south uh, the charger will shut itself down to avoid a lipo fire etc. So it also comes with the bare leads to make your own charging plug. I'll probably wire up Dean's onto that. And then it also comes with the alligator plugs. Just for charging whatever you want. Just clip the alligators to it. Off you go. So that's that. Pretty good deal for 60 bucks, I think. Um, when I first started this hobby, well, the, when I first got into the electrical side of this hobby, I've been into Nitro for years. And then, uh, to, you know, one of these days I decided, ah, let's give one of these electrics a try. And now, I, don't, I think I have one nitro left that I haven't driven in a year. So, I really wish I would have went this route. Rather than picking up like a high-tech X1, which is an AC-DC charger, which is the reason why there's so much money. Uh, DC only chargers are a lot cheaper, but then, like I said, you need a power supply. The way to go is to pick up one of those switching power supplies on eBay, they're fairly cheap. Um, however, you can pick up hobby power supplies as well. 
One thing you want to keep in mind with lots of chargers, even though they say 12 volt, they actually require quite a bit higher. This will actually run up to 28 volts, I believe. Um, but you're not going to get the full charging power until you hit 18 volts. So that's why I decided to pick up an adjustable voltage charger rather than having one that's limited at say 18 volts. I can adjust it to run other stuff if needed. So there you go. It's all aluminum. It's got a really nice fan in there. Pretty big fan too to be honest. Nice uh, bullet connectors there. And that's basically it. Nice and small eh? The fact it puts out 300 watts, it's the same size as my regular uh, 6 amp 80 watt charger. So, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button for me. And check out the part 2 to this in the coming days. And yeah, we hope to see you again guys. Thanks for watching.